This to me is absolutely pathetic. There are three young men there that did not even help her. Clearly the guy was harassing her. Clearly she did not want to be touched. Clearly she needed help. She was looking for the man to help her, but they didn't do it. Is it because they don't know what to do? Is it because they lack the skills to help or they simply don't care? Whatever the reason is, this is pathetic. As a man, it is your duty to be a protector, not only to yourself, your family, your loved ones, but you should own the skills to be able to help people in need. Now, I don't know how y'all gonna feel about what I'm about to say, but I'm not risking my life for no random pussy on the street. As selfish as it might sound, me being here for my family is way more important than me being your knight in shining armor. My daddy raised a human being, not a superhero. This dude in the video, I don't know where he from. He might be from one of them places where it don't get warm because the way he talking and his definition of uh, manliness, he's definitely not American. All right, I'm gonna be real. It depends how I'm feeling that day. I might jump in and intervene in your situation, but... I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. My first instinct will be to mind my business. We all grew up a certain type of way and the environment I grew up in, the people who usually don't mind their business usually get it the worst. I have countless stories of people not minding their business who are no longer here. Matter of fact, y'all know I love to tell stories. So this is a guy I used to play basketball when I was in high school. I didn't know him like that, but he was known in the neighborhood. Funny shit, his name, his name was Gunshot. But, you know, whatever. I don't know how he got the name Gunshot, but his name was Gunshot. I came to college. I went back for uh, one of the summer breaks, went to the park, was playing ball. I noticed he wasn't there. He was always at the park playing ball. So I asked him, like, yo, bro, wait, where the light skin nigga at? You told my Gunshot? Like, yeah. He was trying to break up a fight between two strangers and got stabbed in the neck. Died right there. Oh, that that's not good enough for you? I got another one for you. This chick I used to go to school with, high school, she was dating some guy, he was like 24, 25. Side note, I never realized how much pedophile shit was going on while we was in high school. Because a lot of these females who was 15 and 16 was dating dudes that was 26, damn near 30. Right? So anyway, she's one of the girls in my school, she's dating this guy. He's like 26, 25 or some situation like that. And one day he's beating her ass profusely, okay, without remorse. He's whooping her ass without remorse. Random guy walking by, seen it, jumped in, saved her. Did the heroic thing. Very heroic thing. Couple months later, the 30-year-old, we gonna, we gonna round his age off, seen this kid at a party. Him and I believe three of his friends jumped on this kid. They put this young man in a coma. Here's the craziest part of the whole situation. The same girl got back with her abuser. So now this man almost died trying to save you, and then you got back with your abuser. Come on, man. I don't ever like to throw the whole I'm from New York thing out there, but I'm from New York. I am from New York. I am a professional at minding my business. Let's go back to the video for a second, okay? Now, what I see is three young black men. Some of y'all might be like, what does that have to do with it? then I know you're not black if you gotta ask that question. So I'll explain it to you. Our skin color does not give us the privilege to run around playing Bruce Wayne. Before we involve ourselves in any type of situation that might involve the police later on, we have to think about it. We have to analyze, and we have to make sure it's worth it. If you look at that video, the guys clearly were paying attention to the situation. They didn't intervene and said anything. They clearly were paying attention to the situation. I'm pretty sure if it had escalated, they would have done something. They definitely would have done something. Granted, I can tell that this video was staged in the sense that the girl was acting, you know, so nothing else would have transpired. But I'm pretty sure that if any, if things had went left, them dudes would have jumped in, all right? And even with that, when they got off the elevator, you can see that they, they look back to see if she's going to get off. 
Now, if you in a situation where you don't feel safe, fight or flight response. You actually obviously was crying for help, so the next response should be flight. She should have got off the elevator as soon as it opened. She should have been the first one trying to get off the elevator, and she didn't. The dudes sat there and looked to see if she was going to get off the elevator. So, I get uncomfortable with videos where, like, people of other ethnic backgrounds are questioning the manhood of guys that look like me. You can't question our manhood because we grew up with a different set of rules. Society put us in a situation where we have to grow up differently. We have to really think about the outlook and situations. All them stories I gave you about people losing their lives because, you know, they were trying to be the hero. What about the stories of people going to jail? And I don't want to talk about these, but it's, it's stories I have of people going to jail for trying to help somebody out, for trying to help a woman out. You know what I mean? Even in this video, in the comment section, there was somebody saying that one of their friends, um, they intervened in like a couple's fight and the husband pulled out a gun and the friend ended up shooting the husband. It went to trial and the wife testified against the Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan ended up going to jail because he was trying to help the wife out, out of a bad situation. You know, out of being domestically abused. So, you have to analyze that, man. It's a harsh reality. I know the things, I know the things that I was saying is a harsh reality, bro. But at the end of the day, my family comes first. My family comes first at the end of the day. I'm not going to sit out here and say the cliche thing that's going to make me sound good. Like, that's the problem with the internet. Everybody wants you to say what sounds good. Nobody wants to hear the truth. Everybody wants you to say, oh, I'm going to be the hero. I'm going to jump in front of a bullet for you. I'm not doing that. I am not doing that. I'm not jumping in front of no bullet for nobody. All right? I love you. I want to see you do good, but I've, I love myself first. I've been loving myself longer than you. Just understand that. Anyway, man, it's the video. Y'all tell me how y'all feel.